Okay, so let's have this one, uh, solving rational equations. Now, uh, in solving rational equations, if we have more than two rational expressions, we cannot solve this one using uh, cross multiplication. Uh, to find the solution of this equation, we're going to use uh, finding the LCD. So LCD is the number that is divisible by all of the given denominators. Now, on this equation, we need to check first our denominators. So on this given, the denominators are 1, 3, and 12. So 1, 3, and 12, therefore the LCD is 12 because 12 is divisible. I mean 12 is divisible by 1, divisible by 3, and divisible by 12. Then multiply this LCD to the given equation. Then distribute to every term. That's 12 times x squared. Then plus 12 times 7x over 3. Then equals 12 times 5 over 12. Then simplify the equation. So this 12x squared. And 12 divided by 3, that's 4. Then 4 times 7x, that's 28x. And this 12 divided by 12, that's 1. Or that's equal to 5. Then I equate this equation to 0. So transpose 5 to uh, the left side. So that becomes negative 5 equals 0. So we have now a quadratic equation. So in solving quadratic equation, we can use uh, factoring or quadratic formula. So let's use factoring to solve for this quadratic equation. So in factoring, so factors of 12x squared, that's 6x and 2x, and factors of negative 5, that's negative 1 times 5, or negative 5 times 1. So to check which of the number is negative, so we're going to use uh, the pyramid multiplication. So that's 1 times 2x, this one is positive 2x, and 6x times 5, that's a 30x. So if we're going to add, the answer should be 28x. 28x because the middle term is 28x. So therefore, on this equation, this 2x is negative. So the factors now, that's 6x minus 1 and 2x plus 5. Then equate these factors to 0. So the 6x minus 1 equals 0, then 2x plus 5 equals 0. Then to solve for x, transpose this uh, negative 1, it becomes positive 1. Then divide both sides by 6. So x now, that's 1 over 6. Then the other one, transpose this positive 5. Then divide both sides by 2. So x now is negative 5 over 2. So these are the solutions of this given equation. So x equals 1 over 6 and x equals negative 5 over 2. Now, let's have this example. In this type of equation, we need to check if we can factor out some of the denominators. Now, since we can factor out this uh, x squared and 5x, and that's equal to, uh, we have x squared plus 5x, so we can factor out x, put x outside. So minus x, so we have x plus minus x, so we have 5. So this x squared plus 5x is equal to x times x plus 5. So this is now our new equation. Then to find the LCD, so just uh, put the first denominator x, then on the second denominator, since we already have x, so there is no need to add x, but you need to add this x plus 5. On the third denominator, since we already have x plus 5, so there is no need to add this x plus 5. So this is now the LCD. Then distribute the LCD to every term. Then minus to the second term. And that's equal to the third term. Then uh, you simplify. So that's x plus 5 and x plus 1. Then cancel this one x. Cancel x plus 5. So we have 3x plus 5. Then cancel x plus 5. So that's uh, x times 4. 
then use FOIL method, so x times x, that's uh, x squared, x times 1, that's x, 5 times x, 5x, and 5 times 1, that's 5. Then on the second term, distribute the negative, negative 3x, this one is negative 5, and this uh, x times 4, that's 4x, then combine like terms and equate this equation to 0, so transpose this 4x to uh, the left side, so this x plus 5x, this one is 6x minus 3x, that's positive 3x, then negative, positive 5 and negative 5, that's 0, then transpose this one, that becomes negative 4, and that's equal to uh, 0. Then simplify this uh, 3x and negative 4, so that's negative x equals 0. Then since we can uh, factor out this x squared minus x, common is x. So we have now x minus, since we have 1 on x, so x minus 1 equals 0. So these are the factors of x squared minus x. Then equate these factors to 0. So x equals 0 and x minus 1 equals 0. Then to solve for x, transpose this negative 1 becomes positive 1. So these are the solutions of are given. Now, from the given, we need to check our answer. So if x equals 1, so substitute uh, x, that's 1, then uh, simplify, then simplify this one, uh, 2 over 1 minus 8 over 6, find the LCD is 6, so 6 divided by 1, 6 times 2, that's 12, this one minus 8, so 12 minus uh, 8, that's 4 over 6. So since 4 over 6 is equal to 4 over 6, so therefore this uh, x equals 1 is the solution of this equation. Then for x equals 0, substitute. Now observe that if x equals 0, we have 0 denominator. Then if the denominator is equal to 0, then that equation is undefined. So therefore, if x equals 0, then this is a false statement. So this x equals 0 is not part of the solution. So therefore, x equals 1 is the only solution of this equation. Okay, so let's have our example. So the same process, we need to check the denominator if we can factor out. Now, since we can factor out this uh, x squared plus x minus 6, so using a factoring, so x squared plus x minus 6, so uh, that this factoring, so x, x, then 3 and 2, since this one is positive, so x is positive, I mean 3 is positive and 2 is negative, so these are the factors, so x minus 2 and x plus 3, so this is now our new equation. Okay, so the x plus 3 and the x minus 2. Then to find the LCD, so the same process, put first the first denominator, that x minus 2. Then on the second denominator, since we already have x minus 2, there's no need to add, so just add this x plus 3. Then since on the third one, since we have already x plus 3, so there's no need to add this x plus 3. Okay, so this is now our LCD. Then distribute to every term. Then plus. Then equals. Okay, then uh, simplify. So cancel x uh, minus 2. Cancel uh, x plus 3 and x minus 2. Then we have cancel this x plus 3. Then uh, do apply FOIL method, so x times 2x, that's 2x squared, x times negative 5, that's negative 5x, 3 times 2x, that's 6x, and 3 times negative 5, that's negative 15. Then on the second uh, term, since this one is positive, just omit the parentheses, then equals uh, 3x squared, this one is 8x. Then negative uh, 6x and negative 16. Then combine like terms and equate this equation to 0. 
So this one, 2x and uh, 2x squared and x squared is 3x squared. Then this negative 5 and 6x, that's positive x. And negative 15 and 1, that's negative 14. Then transpose this 3x squared, that's uh, negative 3x squared. This 8x and 2x, I mean 8x and 6x is 2x. Then transpose this one to uh, left side. That's negative 2x. Then 16 transpose. That's positive 16. And that's equal to 0. Then combine like terms. So 3x squared and 3x squared. This one is 0. Uh, x minus 2x. Negative x and negative 14 and 16, that's positive 2, then equals 0. Then to solve for x, transpose these two to the uh, right side. So negative x equals negative 2. So to make this x positive, so you can divide uh, both sides by negative 1 or multiply the whole equation by negative 1. So x now is positive 2. Then to check the answer from the given, so substitute x equals 2. Then you simplify. Observe that we have a zero denominator. So therefore, if x is equal to, this equation becomes undefined. Since x equals 2 is not part of the solution, so therefore, this equation has no solution. Okay, so let's have this uh, last example. So again, the same process, we need to check the denominator if we can factor out. So we have this uh, x squared minus 4. So this x squared minus 4 is equal to x uh, plus 2 and x minus 2. So this is now our new equation. Then the LCD, so write first the first denominator. Then for the second denominator, since we already have x plus 2, since there's no need to add, and we already have x plus 2, no need to add. So therefore, this one is our LCD. Then distribute to every term. So we have this one minus then equals. Then uh, simplify. So cancel x plus 2, x minus 2. So we have 3x. And this one cancel x plus 2. So that's uh, 3 times x minus 2. And cancel x plus 2. So we have x minus 2 times 1. Then simplify. So this negative 3 times x, that's negative 3x. Negative 3 times negative 2, that's positive 6. And equals x minus 2. Then equate this equation to 0, combine like terms. So we have uh, transpose. So negative x, then transpose. We have positive 2 equals 0, so combine like terms, so this is 3x and minus 3x, and this 6 and 2, so negative x equals 8. Then to solve for x, so transpose this uh, positive 8 to the right side, becomes negative 8, so multiply the whole equation by negative 1, or divide both sides by negative 1, so x now is equal to 8. Then to check the answer from the given, so substitute 8, then this one is 64 minus 4, that's 60. This one is 10, this one is 10, this one is 24. Then find the LCD for this one, which is 60. So 60 divided by 10, that's 6 times 3, that's 18. And 24 minus 18, that's 6. And this 6 over 60, that's 1 over 10. So 1 over 10 is equal to 1 over 10. So therefore, the solution of this equation is x equals 8.